Hey folks, so my TP-Link Deco BE65 mesh network, which currently has three units on it, is going to be expanded today because I have a fourth unit here which I want to add to the network. So I thought I'd make this video to guide you through the process, although it is really easy. Now, I, as I mentioned, am using the Wi-Fi 7 BE65 model, but regardless of your Deco mesh, you should be able to follow along with this. It doesn't matter what models that you have. Now, you can actually mix and match these Deco units, you know, in terms of the different models of them, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because you may end up gimping your entire network depending on the setup that you go for. However, you cannot mix and match this particular Wi-Fi mesh, the Deco, with any other brand. So you can't have, for example, TP-Link and Netgear working together. But what's great with these setups is even though I currently have three of these nodes on the network, this will be the fourth, you don't need to have that many. In fact, each of these can serve as either the main primary node or a satellite secondary node. And so what you can do is just start with one of these. And then if you feel like you have Wi-Fi dead spots in various parts of your home, then you can add more as need be. But the reason I love these are because as far as Wi-Fi 7 goes, this is actually very reasonably priced, especially in comparison to some other brands. Wi-Fi 7 is still a new technology. And we have the four two and a half gigabit ports these can serve as either WAN ports or LAN ports okay so just getting this plugged in now I'm going to set this up right here over the wireless backhaul to the current network but once the setup process is complete I'm actually going to be moving this and connecting it into a separate shed and outbuilding and I have that ready for a wired backhaul so I do have an ethernet cable run over to that and that will give us super fast Wi-Fi and connection speeds in a building that's actually about 30 to 40 meters away from our current location but again these meshes are so flexible, they just absolutely make networking a breeze. Now, I know the front LED doesn't show very well on camera here, but it is flashing blue, which means this node is ready. So within the app here, I'm just going to select the plus icon at the very top right hand corner of the screen. We'll just tap that and then we can select to add a deco unit. And I'm actually going to just skip through what it wants to tell me about best positioning. It really doesn't matter. And the reason being, because I'm setting this up over wired backhaul, then it's going to have a good connection regardless. Yep, so it is pulsing blue. Let's tap next here. It's now going to search for this particular uh, product. Ah, there we go, found it. Yep, we'll go ahead and add this device. And I'm going to select custom name, and I'm just going to call this Pool Shed. Done setup now is complete that is literally all there is to it it has the deco added onto the system if we tap over here we can see my four deco units now and the fact that two of them are currently connected over wired backhaul the front room deco is the main primary unit and there we go i can now see the pool shared deco has shown up with that wireless connection right here i'm going to get this unplugged move it into position plug it in with a LAN cable, get it turned back on, and then it will automatically detect that wired backhaul and use that for a strong connection. Okay, so if we just walk down here towards the shed, there's no way the wireless would actually reach over the network, the wireless backhaul, which is why we have this ethernet cable coming down here too. And I've got a number of smart devices on this shed along with inside here, we've got um, television up there as well. The pool table down here, having Wi-Fi around this place, especially out here in the sticks where there's just no mobile signal is such a bonus. And then down here, you can see we have that new deco. So green light means that the connection is very good. And to just show you that, hopefully you can see that on the app there, we have the pool shed connected over the ethernet and yep, everything looks good. Okay folks, and there we have it. That's my new Deco unit set up and added to the network and everything's working beautifully. And by the way, just in case you were wondering, you can actually add as many of these units to your network as need be. With some of the older generations of mesh, there was limitations on how many you could add, but with these Wi-Fi 7 units, Deco are saying that 
an unlimited amount in theory should work. I don't think you're gonna need that many though. In my case, four is probably gonna be more than sufficient. But hopefully this little video guide has helped you. Thank you so much for checking it out and I'll see you next time.